What is up everybody, Kyler's 2000 here and welcome back to another video and in this video I will be giving my thoughts on the new uh, championship that has been introduced into the WWE last night on Raw of course we found out that Mick Foley would be bringing uh, well announcing a new championship on Raw at Money in the Bank and that title was the 24-7 title and a lot of people uh, were thinking the title would be something like this but they thought it would be uh, like the old hardcore title <clears throat> which this basically is just differs in name um, so yeah the 24-7 title is the title is defended basically 24-7 as long as anywhere falls count anywhere as long as there is a referee there to count the pinfall like the old hardcore title and um, yeah a lot of people have been complaining uh, about this title I do like this concept it was everything that people wanted for them to bring back in the uh, in the um, ha hardcore title sorry I forgot what I was trying to say there but um, yeah so it's everything that was great about the original hardcore title really it's what everyone remembers the most about that title is the like Crash Holly in the airport defending it and just defending it all over the arena and other places like just imagine that in current day with the um, social media like imagine just one day on Twitter all of a sudden don't we like go live with a video and uh, it's like Braun Strowman or someone going after the 24-7 title of course, three champions were crowned last night. Foley just left the title in the ring and said, first one to get this wins it. Which was retrieved by Titus O'Neil. Of course, guys like the club. The club and um, Drew, or not Drew, Drake Maverick were out there. Um, who else? Titus O'Neil, uh, No Way Jose, EC3. So yeah, it was kind of a lot of people who normally won't get too much airtime on Raw. Eric Young was out there, and yeah, Titus was the first to get there. And as he was walking up the ramp, uh, Bobby Roode came out and just rolled him up, well, pinned him, and became the second person to hold the 24/7 title. And then later, then I didn't see Raw yet. Um, I just seen highlights on YouTube, but. Uh, he he gets our troop to help him backstage. Our troop like puts him in the boot of the car, and then tells everyone that he went the other way. And then once he goes to help Rude escape, Rude opens the door to the car. There's referee sitting in the driver's seat. Rude Rude says, "What are you doing here?" And then True attacks him and leaves Raw as the 24/7 champion. And a, like put something up online saying that it's bringing the European title to SmackDown, which is typical or truth. But um, yeah, I'm really excited for this. It gives guys like I mentioned people that were involved in this segment last night something to do, or rather than just sitting backstage and care. Like normally they wouldn't see much of these guys on uh, Raw, you probably wouldn't even see them at, at all but um, yeah so it g gives people something to do and it can create for some great hilarious segments like with the original hardcore title when the 24-7 rule was first introduced so um, yeah um, my only problem is the title design is kind of plain you can see it in the thumbnail of this video I'll have it in there's not much of a design to it but it's not a major title it's not going to be a big title so uh, you can kind of understand the why like people are going to just trade it back and forth like every week like three or four people will hold it not even a week like three or four people will hold it uh, every episode of Raw or Smackdown and uh, the title is not just open to main roster guys it's open to 205 uh, the 205 live roster it's open to NXT UK it's open to NXT so like just imagine that like one week 
Um, Matt Riddle, for example, wins it and then is able to show up on Raw uh, with the gold. So it will create um, inter some interesting segments on Raw, and I feel like this will be entertaining. But yeah, the design isn't very great. The name, of the 24-7 title, isn't too good. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see how this plays out and some of the stuff that they that we decide to do with this title. And um, yeah, just imagine like a guy like Braun Strowman eventually gets his hands on this, and like he can hold it for weeks, like and just have everyone just trying to attack him left, right, and center, and Braun Strowman doing typical Braun Strowman things, and just um, destroying uh, the arena and everything. So yeah, for stuff like that and the concept of the title really really excites me and um, I hope that we do some great stuff and have some hilarious segments going forward in the future so yeah the design and the name aren't great but I think it's a great concept that will lead to some great interesting segments in the future and that is going to be it for this video smash that like button if you did enjoy let me know in the comment section below what you think of the new WWE 24 7 title Subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in the next one